Hello and welcome to another edition of What Does This Deck Do? This week we're going to be focusing on Eldrazi, one of current Legacy's most aggressive strategies. Let's get started. Eldrazi in Legacy is most commonly known as a Stompy deck in the format. The Stompy moniker is applied generally to any deck that is utilizing soul land elements like Ancient Tomb and prison elements like Chalice of the Void. It is a shell based on utilizing extreme mana ramp to accelerate out powerful threats above curve while keeping the opponent locked down on certain spells and effects. Originally when Eldrazi were released during Rise of the Eldrazi, most of the creatures and effects were very expensive mana wise, making playing these effects very difficult. The only creatures that actively saw play during this time were the Eldrazi Titans, namely due to decks like Cloudpost. This all changed when Oath of the Gatewatch was released. The introduction of lower-costed Eldrazi boosted the power level of the primary accelerants of this deck, namely Eye of Ugin and Eldrazi Temple. The use of powerful lands like Cavernous Souls to protect game-winning plays enhanced the power of this deck versus the Force of Will decks of the format. Over time, however, Eldrazi fell into obscurity as a viable strategy in Legacy, but that has changed again with the release of Modern Horizons 3. Modern Horizons 3 flipped the script once more with Eldrazi, providing the deck powerful new effects like Sewing Micaspawn, It That Heralds the End, and Glaring Fleshraker. One of the most important aspects of Sewing Micaspawn especially is how well the car scales from its base mode to a fully kicked variant. Being able to just cast the card can get you a wasteland, but a fully kicked Micaspawn can exile land and get a wasteland, which puts an opponent really off balance. Furthermore, Kozilex Command and Glaring Fleshraker is extremely powerful and can end games very quickly. Eldrazi is a deck that has a lot of tools at its disposal, and a good portion of its gameplay is based on mulligan decisions and sequencing decisions, knowing when and how to mulligan, what resources to prioritize in a game, and how to sequence those resources into play is very important. When in doubt with this deck, it is always important to prioritize what your deck is going to do in the first three turns of the game. And if the deck is not doing something impactful on turn 1 and turn 2, then you are likely needing to mulligan that hand. Often, many turns begin with a turn 1 Chalice of the Void, followed by Threats. On the draw, though, those hands seem less impactful because your opponent has a turn to cast spells that may cost 1 mana or less. In terms of sequencing, for example, it can often be correct to sequence out artifact mana like your Lotus Petals before playing a land, especially if that land is something like Cavern of Souls or Eldrazi Temple. These lands telegraph your deck immediately to your opponent, which may give them incentive to counter the artifact mana to prevent your turn 1 play. Eldrazi is a very fast deck, but it does have its shortcomings. Because of being an Ancient Tomb deck, it is highly possible to lose games to simply having tapped an Ancient Tomb too many times, and being in danger of losing the game because of the damage adding up. Because this is a deck not able to mitigate extreme variants with tools like Brainstorm, sometimes you can simply draw too many lands, not enough lands, or just draw cards you didn't need or can't cast. Wasteland and hate effects like Back to Basics and Blood Moon are very powerful versus this deck, because cutting the deck off of being able to reduce colorless mana negates many of the deck's bigger and more impactful threats. I hope you enjoyed this look at one of Legacy's more aggressive strategies. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for any notifications for future videos. What deck would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments below. As always, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.